Hi, uh, my name is Abhijit. I'm a postdoc in, in the Netherlands Cancer Institute and I'm a bioinformatics uh, professional, meaning that I use computational tools and techniques to understand biological data. We generate DNA, RNA or protein uh, profiling data from, um, from patients, from cancer cells, and then we use bioinformatic methods to identify which sequences of DNA, RNA are present and which profiles of protein is present. And then we try to identify which of these profiles are special to cancer cells. So we found out that uh, the DNA sequence is not mutated in cancer cells, but at the same position, the protein is changed. So without a change in DNA, there is a change in the protein. So this is this amino acid substitution that is not happening at the DNA level. So when we analyze the DNA, we find there's nothing changing, but at the protein level, things are changing quite a lot. So we had no uh, evidence that this can happen in human cells. So it was a bit, I was a bit, bit skeptical in the beginning. What we learned in the school that it cannot happen in mammals, but it can still happen in bacteria. But then we did some experiments in the lab and that's when I realized that it does indeed happen. And that was like the breakthrough moment. So uh, a step further, what we found is that these substitutions are presented by the cancer cells on its surface. So that brings forward an interesting possibility that is to identify these cancer cells uh, using our own immune cells. So this can be targets of immunotherapy. The tryptophan to phenylalanine substitution can also be used in diagnostics, for example. And away from cancer, it can be also used to identify basic survival. How, how do uh, cells survive, even if amino acids are missing? I, I feel uh, super humbled and honored for, for this award. I feel very proud that substitute is now being recognized at NKI, in, by the international scientific community. It's uh, where now researchers all over the, the planet are now jumping in on this hypothesis and trying to develop immunotherapy with it. So I, I feel very proud of this recognition that it's now, that substitution is getting more recognized by the scientific community.